You would bet money that that right there, take that out. Holy shit. You would bet money. You would bet a million dollars that that thing was actually broken. Who wants to help? Take that out. What is that? It's a stir stick. It's a stir stick. Okay. okay. That's not the amazing part. Here's the amazing part. The difference between reality and illusion. That's reality. You can see it bent. You can hear it bent and broken. If I put it on the inside, I don't know why this works. It helps to muffle everything. Kind of like a little echo chamber. Listen, it'll actually sound if I do it right. Does that sound like a broke? Yes. That's the illusion. Try it yourself. Break it right there, back and forth. Did it feel like it? You do it yourself. Right there on the end, back and forth. You will swear it's broken. Right? You would bet that it was broken, yeah. but as you can see, that's the illusion. Take that out. <laughs> Show it to him. That's not broken. And it gives the illusion like it's actually broken. But that's just the illusion. And I don't know why this happens, but it only happens when it's inside the bag. Reach in and take that out. And it gives the illusion what? like it's actually broken. You would bet money that that right there, take that out. Holy shit. You would bet money. You would bet a million dollars that that thing was actually broken. Okay, the method for this is, is, is patently simple, but I have to tell you, when Grippenwald and I thought of this, we were related because um, I said to him, what if we did that old toothpick or matchstick in the hem of a handkerchief or napkin trick? And we came up with all these different things, like, for example, the overlay is over here. So we thought somehow some way to put it in there and we thought we tape it. And I'm like, tape it? No, these things are supposed to be completely impromptu. I don't want to go to the prep bar for too long. I don't want to borrow tape. We let it stay dormant for about a year. And then all of a sudden, Grippenwald goes, ding, 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 ding. I'm not sure he said that out loud, but I actually heard ding, ding, ding. And he thought right here, look at this. You put it down there proving again that Starbucks makes these props specifically just for magicians. That's crazy. Would you do this effect? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Look how bloody yeah. simple that is. And all you have to do is push it all the way over. Now, the reason I broke it at the outset, ostensibly is to say the difference between reality and illusion. There's reality, I really broke it, but the real reason for saying that is so it fits. Look, because that's a perfect size. When they're brand new, they don't fit, okay? So turn the negative into a positive. So you do all this in advance. Wait, tell me how long this preparation takes. Sorry, was that, was that too long? Right there. So that's about a second worth of preparation. So just get it right there equally in the middle and you are ready to go. In fact, Starbucks made these bags so the overlap is a little bit tighter now. There's only one uh, deficit or detriment here is if you've got backlighting. So right now we can see it kind of, actually, you, you know really what? Can. It looks like the crease. It actually looks like the crease now yeah. that I think about it. Yeah. Wow. And even on that side. Yeah. Oh, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So. From the very beginning, you put this on the inside. The reason I do that is because I don't want to say, look, an empty bag, right? Because if you say that, now they're going to want to look and examine and be the judge of it themselves, and they may feel it. In fact, when I first did this for you, mm -hmm. I don't know if you know this, I said, reach inside. So let me do this. I start with a stick in the bag. I say, reach inside, pull out the contents. If he's pulling out just one thing, he knows it's an empty bag. Right. The first time he did this, and I don't think you noticed. So do it for me. You say reach inside. Oh, can you say reach inside? Oh, sure, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> and he grabbed it by the end. You I was waiting know. for him to go, you know, that's a very sturdy crease. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If, now, who's going to do that, right? Yeah. So I said, I even hand it to you. Yeah. And you don't have to say hold on to it. You just do this. Now watch this. I didn't say hold it. So it's just like it's a natural reaction. You know, babies do that. You put something in their hand, they actually... I'm going to start going, that's so great. <laughs> Who's that cute little baby? <laughs> yeah. Who's <laughs> So he pinched himself. He's so cute. Yeah. So now I'm going to do the same thing to look like that one that was prepared. So I say, listen, listen. That's reality. Mm -hmm. Listen, and I can break it off myself or have him break it off. You're convinced that that's reality. You saw it break. You heard it break. But if I put it in the bag, I don't know why this works. So now I'm doing it with, this, um, with all the, uh, the creases and everything or the edges facing me. Right, and I place this over here like that, and I go a third of the way down. I go right there. So on the inside, I go a third of the way down. It's straight across from here to there. Now I'm going to do a switch, which, believe it or not, strangely, the switch looks even more realistic than the non-switch, meaning that I'm going to put, I'm going to switch these two sticks. 
and break this one, obviously, not that one. So what I do is I fold it up a third, so I put my fingers right on the stick. There's the sticks, I put my finger there, and go up a third. Go up a third, and remember now, that's the one I'm gonna break. So I go up a third like this, a third again, but I don't just stop there. So I don't do a third, a third, and stop. The second third, I revolve it. So there's a third, there's a third, increase it. So you revolve and crease at the same time. That's the one now that I'm going to break right there. But your mind thinks that that's the Your brain one. completely yeah. accepts that that's the middle one. Yeah, I'll do it yeah. again. Watch. I fold it up like this, fold it over like this, mm -hmm. and your brain just accepts that as being the real one. So when I do this, I say, listen, it's the fourth. It's back and forth. The break on the first one they can hear. The next one they really hear. It's extra loud. And it depends what time, type of uh, sticks you've got. Some of them are a little bit softer, so test it at the prep bar. You want a really good, dry, older, snappy, crispy one. And uh, don't go for one that's too thin and too uh, brown. That means it's been sitting around too long. Um, when it's brown, actually, there's, because it's still part of a tree, it's part of the knot, and the knot's not going to, it's going to be too brittle. Have I thought way too much about this stuff? Are you freaking out over here thinking about, how does he know all this stuff? I've done this at least a thousand times. This is my thousand timer. So just to prove to him, break it yourself over there, back and forth. Now do it over there. Now notice how each time I can hand it to him like this, or pre preferably hand it to him, so he doesn't grab there. That's the, that's the real one. So over there as well, break that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and sometimes they get excited, they want to break it a couple more times. I mean, isn't that a good illusion over here? You're swearing that you broke it, right? Yeah, absolutely. The only one way to prove to you that it's not broken, and I just give it a little snap like that. Don't do it too hard, because this thing might fly out. That's on the old bags. For right now, that thing is in there really tight. You could give it a good little snap like that, but be cognizant of that. And I could have him reach inside and pull it out, but he still might want to examine the bag. So to preclude any of that, I simply rip it right there on the crease line, and it creates a dramatic theatrical yeah. tension anyway, like what's going on, what's going on. And when he finally sees that and only that, he's 100% convinced that that thing's completely empty. And now here's my favorite part. My favorite part. Don't get ahead of me. They're already broken. Makes it so much easier now. <laughs> ball it up like this. Crumble it into a ball. Set it down. You're happy, everyone's happy, it's completely done. Now, if you want, and this is what I like to do to really mess with people's minds, you have another bag. Actually, this one's prepared, so forget. This is like bubble wrap. Oh, I can't not do it. Oh, that feels so good. So what you do is you get another one that doesn't have sticks in it. I was just playing with you, that's, that's the only bag I had. So one that has no sticks in it, you rip it just like before. This is all preparation. You're doing this at the prep bar. And you make this exactly, remember, no sticks. What did I say? Oh, that's no right, sticks. no sticks. Yeah. So right there, uh, especially because that one just squeezed me right in the palm. Oh. Oh, so this one is under your lap or under your thigh. What you're going to do is you're going to switch it at an opportune moment on the offbeat. Off just wait, wait, wait. Be like Max Malini, who is from Austria. He said, I'd wait a week. And then you put it there, pick this one up, and you go to the bathroom. Say, I'll be right back. I'll measure where that is. I'll visually remember that it's next to like a little knot in the table. I'll leave it right there. I'll go to the table to get, I'm in the bathroom to get rid of this one. And every time, every time, every single time I come back, that bag has been moved. That feels so good to know that they actually looked inside for any kind of evidence of some kind of jiggery stickery. So there you have it. That one is called Coffee Break. Hope you enjoyed that. I Thank you it. for your uh, time and your attention. And why am I saying this like this is a speech and I just won something? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. So there you have it. Thank you. You probably work in here. You recognize that. Oh, yeah. You probably recognize one of those. Take that out of there. And that's the stir stick. Hold on to this. I'm going to show you the uh, uh, difference between reality and illusion. So okay. here's reality. Okay. You see it? And he's a philosophy major, so when I say reality, he's thinking about something completely different right now. See, how would Aristotle handle that? Now, that's still reality. That's still reality. You can see it and you can hear it. Here is the illusion. It's the weirdest thing. You put it in here like this and then fold it up. It sounds like, but this is the illusion. Listen. Did you hear that? It's broke. But it sounds like it's broke. Right. Oh. Do it yourself over there, back and forth, back and forth. You can see it, you can feel it. You can't see it, but you can feel it. And you can even hear it, back and forth. 
but that's just the illusion. And I don't know why this happens, but it only happens when it's inside the bag. Reach in and take that out. And it gives the illusion like it was actually broken.